Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see what's going on between my Virgos and the person that's on their mind. I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay? Guys, please remember, only take what you need, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me spirit. Show me what it is I need to see for my Virgos. Guys, so when I was, before I came out to do the reading, I got an energy that there's there's a lot of people effing with you. Like there's a lot of people effing with you. I also got in this energy that a lot of you guys, you feel stuck in a situation. You you feel, st you're tired of thinking about a situation. Something's not changing. I feel like for some of you guys, you just feel like it's an evolving door. Something's not changing. Something has to give. But I got a big energy of like somebody's effing with you and you're tired of it. Some of you guys, you feel stuck in it. Show me spirit. Five of wands with the four of wands. Hmm. Five of wands is about competition. Competing. Somebody's competing for somebody's attention. Somebody could be competing for somebody right now, present moment that is married or that's already in a relationship. Somebody here is trying to fight for their marriage, fight for their relationship. There's competition. Somebody here wants the ring. Somebody here wants to be a husband. Somebody here wants to be a wife. Somebody here wants a relationship, but there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of conflict I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have other people involved in your relationships, involved in your connections, involved with matters that are going on within your home, outside individuals, lurking into your home life. Show me this five of wands spirit. What's this five of wands currently for my Virgos? Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy, you're competing. What is it that my Virgo is competing for? For your place. I'm hearing like you're competing for your place. You're competing for your place in somebody's life. You're fighting for your family. You're fighting for your foundation. You're fighting. Some of you guys are fighting for your marriage. Some of you guys, you're fighting for your stability, something that once was. Like, this is a big energy, like fighting for something that once was. Yeah, I'm also getting, some of you guys could actually be cross watchers. Show me spirit, show me this queen of pentacles. Wow, okay. We have the devil, five of swords, yep page of pentacles you're not asking for a lot with the page of wands there's 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 other people involved here for some of you guys there's a lot of conflict with your kids for some of you guys there's a lot of conflict with your kids there's some toxic energy there's some there's something that's causing a lot of conflict in your relationships right now present moment with the devil here, there could be some obsessiveness. There could be, there could be fear. There could be a lot of sexuality. There could be some addictions here. I feel like there is something here that has a lot of you guys, you're obsessing over it. There's fear over it. It's causing a lot of mental conflict. A lot of mental conflict. That page of pentacles and that page of wands is, that's, that's news. 
that's an offer, an opportunity. Somebody could be getting attention for some, from someone that's younger. Somebody could be offering their money to someone younger. Hmm. And I'm going to say this, and I know that <laughs> it's going to cause conflict in itself, me saying this. in Virgo, if this is you or this is somebody in your energy, somebody is offering. Yeah. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Page of Wands is normally your good news. Page of Pentacles is normally an offer coming in. Five of Swords, I feel like you're not getting much. Like, I feel like somebody's not get it, getting much, not giving much. Or even, like, what's being offered to you is, is disappointing. It's disappointing. Show me this page of Pentacles from my Virgo. Knight of Swords. So somebody's going to communicate some type of offer to you. Someone here that has caused a lot of conflict in your life. There's a lot of jealousy here. Show me this Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. The Empress. Taurus, Libra energy. But I feel like this is your energy. Someone is coming towards you. Could be, because this is two different individuals. This is two different indi individuals that's coming towards you. Four, we have, first out, we have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is talking about challenges. Challenges with a marriage, challenges with a relationship here, challenges with your family, challenges within your home, your foundation. Queen of Pentacles, it, it's affecting your stability and your, and your foundation. With the devil here, there is some addictions. There's some toxic, there's some toxic, some of you guys are in a toxic environment. There's fear, there's obsessiveness. There's a lot of conflict. There's conflict. For some of you guys, the conflict is with your children. For some of you guys, the conflict is with somebody that you're dealing with. This person is younger than, than you. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. This is two different youthful energies. For some, some of you guys, somebody here is going to offer you something. You have an earth sign that's going to offer you something minute. For some of you guys, you're going to be receiving a message from a fire sign. This is kind of a very flirtatious message. These are small gestures, small gestures. Knight of Swords, that's about action. Someone's taking action towards you. Somebody wants to love on you. Somebody wants to feel on you, love on you, nurture you. This is definitely somebody that's caused you a lot of conflict. This is definitely someone here that has been obsessing over you. This is giving me a very codependent energy, a very codependent energy. Who is this person spirit that's obsessing over my Virgos? Who is this person that's obsessing over my Virgos? The fool, Aries energy. Somebody that wants a new beginning. Somebody that wants a new beginning with you. Temperance. Something balanced. Somebody's being spiritually guided to you. This is somebody that can't escape, escape their feelings about you. Somebody's obsessing. This is somebody right now, present moment, this person is obsessing. This person cannot escape their feelings for you. Strong Sagittarius, Aries energy. We have Capricorn here. We also have Taurus, Libra energy. I feel like this queen of pentacles is you though. But I'm also getting there's a group of you guys, you're competing for somebody. You've been competing for somebody that's already in a relationship, somebody that's already somebody that's already married. 
there's conflict, but I don't see you. I still see you messaging this person. I still see this person messaging you. And I still see this person coming towards you. That message is meant for someone. It's not meant for everyone. But the thing about it is, which, whichever this store, whoever, whoever this store is for, this is not you're not wanting to give up and this person's not wanting to give up. Somebody has convinced themselves that they're being divinely guided to this person. Yeah, somebody has truly convinced themselves of this. Page of Swords. Stalking someone. Someone, yeah. There's a lot of people in this energy. There's a lot of people in this energy. And the thing about it is for some of you guys, you're thinking like you're this person. If the, if you're in something, whereas you're, you know that this person's already in a relationship or you know that this person, this message, guys, remember these messages, take things that resonate. Not all this is going to fit into everybody's story. I'm, I can only say what I'm seeing here. But if you're in something, whereas, or you were in something, whereas you know that somebody, because this is current energy. So I do see like some of you guys, you're in a relationship right now, present moment, and there is competition, but you're trying to fight for it. You're trying to fight for your marriage. You're trying to fight for your relationship. But there are some of you guys, that other person, are you, however you guys take it as it resonates. Somebody's in something already and somebody else is trying to fight for it. I'm getting a very codependent energy though. Some of you guys, you know that this person's already in something, but you can't escape this person. But I see, but you're you, like, you can fight. I see you fighting for this. Some of you guys like how, whomever, whichever story is yours. I see you fighting for this, but I also see, I, I see you walking away very disappointed. Like I see you walking away very disappointed. So for some of you guys, there are there's kids involved. For some of you guys, you're competing with somebody that's younger. For some of you guys, you're competing for somebody. You're competing for someone that's younger, someone that's immature and that don't know what they want. And for some of you guys, you are competing for what you believe is yours against somebody that is younger. But no matter what, I still see like... The thing about it is, there's a big energy of no matter what, the person that does wrong still comes right on back around. There's a big energy of action being taken towards what, to what, towards you, Virgo. Like, Virgo, you're in the mix of all of this, all of this chaos. And I'm saying chaos is because there is so much people here. There's so much people here. Like there's people watching other people's social media. There's people that are sending messages here. Like this is giving me an energy of people not respecting other people's boundaries. People not respecting other people's relationships. And, and while it takes two or more to tangle, there's a big energy here. But I just see at the end of the day, a lot of disappointment here. Show me spirit. How does the person that my Virgo is thinking about right now, present moment, feel about my Virgo? How does this person feel about my Virgo spirit? Five of Cups, this person has a lot of regret. The person that you're thinking about right now, present moment, this person wants to come back towards you. This person has a lot of regret. You see that Five of Cups in the reverse. This person has a lot of regret. For some of you guys, this person is trying to get over you. They're tired of crying over you. It's like I'm hearing, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And like this person feels like their eyes, I'm sorry, should be enough. What is it that this person is hiding from my Virgo spirit? Queen of Swords. 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. They could be hiding a whole nother person. This person could be hiding a whole nother person here. Somebody that they're married to or in a relationship. Show me this Queen of Swords. The Sun. Leo energy. Why is the Sun here, Spirit? Because the Sun, the sun sh talks about happiness, talks about healing, talks about illumination. Queen of Swords, somebody's hiding, it's like hiding the truth. Hiding how two of swords. This person's at crossroads. This person's at crossroads as to what it is that really and truly makes them happy. This person is hiding the truth from you. The truth is that they are at crossroads as to who makes them happy, as to what makes them happy. Why are they hiding this spirit? Why is this person hiding this from my Virgos? Will of Fortune. Because they want to. Because this person is not a very nice person. And not, not a very good person. Because this person has some shadow work that needs to be done. Two of Wands. At the bottom of the deck. This person is hiding a karmic from you. Why, you know why this person's hiding things from you? Because they don't want you to know that they're not doing well in life. They don't want you to know that. Yeah, with that will of fortune, things are not going well for this person. Thing are, things are not turning in this person's favor, favor. And this person's trying to hide this from you. From some, For some of you guys, this person could actually, on the outside, you may think that this person is happy. You may think that this person's in a loving, nurturing relationship or this person, like you may have this person, you may see this person through a whole nother lens. I feel like for some of you guys, this person doesn't want you to, this person doesn't want you to pity them. This person doesn't want you to, because for some of you guys, you may have had this person on a pedestal and this person does not want you to take them off that pedestal. But that will of fortune is telling me that for some of you guys, this person doesn't want you to let, doesn't want to let you know that they return back to a karmic. For some of you guys, for some of you guys, this person doesn't want you to know that they're not doing good right now, present moment. But for the biggest, the biggest of it all, this person doesn't want you to know that they're indecisive as to what truly makes them happy. They're not sure their damn self. They're not sure their damn self. And this person is going to continue to play games guys flip and switch this energy however you see fit this person is going to continue to play games as long as somebody's willing to play the game with them this person has a very serious codependency this is someone that cannot be by themselves this is someone that has built up an illusion in their mind about the connection between you and them for some of you guys this person could be your karmic but this person is regretful this person is extremely regretful over how they treated you, how things have played out with you. If they're not regretful as of right now, present moment, they're going to be. They're definitely going to be, but I feel like you lost and you didn't lose. Because if you're dealing with this chaos, you didn't lose. But I feel like in the mix of it, you felt like you lost. Like you cried about this. You left with your head down, not with your head held high. The thing about it is, for some of you guys, you showed your ass for this person. For some of you guys, you showed your ass for this person. And you still lost, or you're still losing. But the thing about it is, what you were getting from this person wasn't a bunch. wasn't a bunch but no matter what I still see this person coming back towards you no matter what I still see communication between you and this person yeah whether you respond to the communication that's going to be at your discretion but I still see communication coming in I still see an offer coming in I still see text messages coming in I do see some of you guys some of you guys you've received messages from this person and you have not responded as of yet but you sure did open it to see what it said 
Are you sure did it pl press play to hear what it said? With the star here, it's telling me what you don't see is that strong Aquarius energy. There is truthful communication coming in. For some of you guys, it's with another earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody wants to clear the air with you. You don't see that. You're going to receive a message from this person. This could be somebody at a distance or somebody that has been distant with you. This person now sees, like this person, what you don't see is that this person now sees your value. This person now sees what it is that you have, that what it is that you bring to the table. This person now sees that whatever you water, it grows. That whatever you touch, it blossoms. Whatever you say comes true in your presence everything is beautiful like this person now sees things so differently and with the ace of swords here this is telling me that there is going to be some honest communication this is telling me that this is like clarity this is seeing things for what it truly is but it's also it's also truth it's also real king of pentacles this energy this this is for some of you guys there's a virgo taurus capricorn here could be an Aquarius as well. And this person wants to talk. Three of Pentacles. This is somebody that somebody here that wants to work things out with you. Or someone here that you. This could be somebody that you work with. For a lot of you guys, this is someone that you work with. For a lot of you guys, this is someone that there. There's this is third party energy. The lovers here. There is love, but this person has a choice. For, there's a big energy for some of you guys. This person has a choice. This person has to decide what it is that they're, what they're going to do. For some of you guys, this person is moving on to calmer waters back towards you. For some of you guys, this person, what you don't see is this person is going to be moving on to calmer waters back towards you because this person wants to come in and they want to they wanna work things out with you. Could be a Gemini here. Six of Swords moving on to Karma Waters, but with the Three of Wands, this person is waiting. This person is waiting for We have the Ten of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. It's like this person is waiting for an ending to happen. For some of you guys, this person is waiting for like a lump sum of money. This person is waiting for some type of settlement or some, t it's like this person is waiting to have something, something of value, of substance. Yeah, for some of you guys, this person is somebody that has stabbed you in your back. Somebody that is traveling or that they, yeah this is somebody that will that is traveling there's a lot of traveling and this person could be traveling from a distance i'm definitely getting an energy of somebody here that has already stabbed you in your back and this person is coming towards you with something with the high priestess you intuitively know that this person is coming towards you for some of you guys you are just waiting for some of you guys you are just waiting here king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy with the ace of pentacles and when this person comes towards you yeah you're gonna look good you're gonna look good and this person this person finds you to be very very attractive i feel like you've changed since the last time this person has seen you ace of pentacles there's a potential here of something more somebody's gonna see somebody is going to be enlightened on a whole new potential there's going to be a new offer coming in the potential of a new direction here seven of pentacles somebody here wants to put in the work but i feel like somebody is blocking this could be you this could be you blocking communication from the from a scorpio see that because you in your mind you've already ended this in your mind, you've already ended this. And now you have other choices. You have more important things to think about and to do. Not Knight of Pentacles, you're moving slow though. You're not rushing into anything. Unexpectedly, 
you have a king of swords here so the, some of you guys you have one, you have two two individuals that's coming your way unexpectedly i feel like for some of you guys there's somebody that's been coming towards you you have options unexpectedly you have options we have scorpio here yeah with the seven of cups here knight of pentacles i feel like that is your energy you have options but unexpectedly you have a king of swords here libra gemini aquarius energy somebody of substance that wants to build something with you because this person actually loves you and this person's going to come in and offer you a cup of love cancer scorpio pisces energy but here you go you're, you're guarded and you're stubborn as all hell this is a this is a past life connection this is a past life connection but you're you're not trusting you're not trusting some of you guys you're holding on to like some of you guys you know the thing about it is they got you you have so many different options but you are like like i'm hearing like holding on to your virtue like like yeah like you're not like you're not you're content you're content by yourself you're extremely content by yourself extremely content some of you guys are not letting go like it doesn't matter how much this person comes towards you it doesn't matter how this person comes towards you you're not breaking bread with this person mm -mm. there's someone new coming in but why is it some of you guys you're still holding on to baggage from something from the past and you're not even letting new in like you're still holding on to baggage from the past and you're not even letting new in. There's a lonesome feeling for some of you guys. Some of you guys are keeping yourself extremely busy so you can avoid your feelings. Yeah. Keeping yourself extremely busy just to, just to avoid your feelings just to not let somebody in some of you guys like you're god you're closed you're you're like ugh, you're not budging you're not budging and the thing about it is you're you're thinking i feel the energy it's like you, you're thinking that if you keep yourself closed in like this is protecting yourself but it's not it's not Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos and the person that's on their mind. Whoa, that all just kind of slid out. Let's try that again. Let's see, because they keep coming out. Pay attention to your work. Some of you guys, it's somebody that you work with. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. So there's new coming in. We saw new. We saw a lot of new. We saw a lot of new. For some of you guys, this is going to be somebody that you work with. We have had, you will be playing a different role. There's going to be changes. Some of you guys, you're going to be going from side person to main person. Some of you guys, you're going to be going from main person to side person. That's what I, I got all in there. And then we have flute, disappointment in a friend or a lover. Yeah, I saw disappointment. We saw disappointment. Beware of self-delusion. We saw that as well. Somebody was delusional. It says beware of self-delusion. Dragon. Because there was delusion because somebody had somebody has made up something in their mind. Somebody is seeing something that is so not so not it's so not what it is. 
And then we have vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. We saw that too. Some of you guys, you are lonely. You are sad. You are depressed over a situation that you put yourself into. And guys, remember this energy is fluid. Please flip, switch this however you see fit. Because somebody here, it's like somebody was hoping and praying that something would turn out one way and it turned out to be something so different. All right, my loves, this is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, bye guys.